motive. But widespread opposition continues to the European Union's approval of new guidelines for labeling products manufactured in Israeli, Israeli settlements in the West Bank. One local group is trying to combat the move by taking products from Judea, Samaria, and the Golan Heights directly to the consumer. It's called Lev Haolam, and earlier this week I visit, visited with them. While efforts to single out products from Judea and Samaria and the Golan Heights have gained steam, others see it as an opportunity. We are trying to fight the BDS movement and all the anti-Semitic uh, uh, winds who are trying to demolish Israel and the Zionist, uh, the only Jewish state in Israel. And we help the small businesses all over Israel, and especially in Judea and Samaria, in, uh, in, uh, in the Golan, in the Galil, uh, in the Gaza Strip, to mark their products and to sell more. They boycott and we are selling more and they buy, people are buying more. They spread hate and we spread love. Lev Haolam founder Nati Rome lives in the community of Shiloh in Samaria. A lawyer by training, Rome set up Lev Haolam to push products from the territories. You have things like argon oil and tahina, candles, chocolates. What is it you tell? You can buy this anywhere in the world. So what are you telling these people when you go to them why they should buy these Israeli products? Yeah, so first of all, we are, we are giving them a taste of, of, of Israel. We are giving them a taste of the pioneers in Israel who are doing this with a lot of love in the Holy Land in a very, um, with a lovely way, in a, in a handmade. The majority of our, our products are handmade, organic. And we also do that because people want to support us. We are surrounded by millions of people who are trying to demolish Israel and to boycott and label our products as, as 70 years ago. And there are many people, grassroots people all over the world who support Israel and, they, and we are establishing connection with them. And they are buying these products because they want to show their support. For $100 a month, you can get a box filled with goodies and products made by small businesses in Judea, Samaria and the Golan Heights. It varies from month to month, so each box is a surprise. Lately we have a guy from Iran. This is a very uh, unique. We have Papua New Guinea, we have Australia, New Zealand, uh, Sweden, Norway, uh, England, Italy, France, uh, all over the world. We are labeling now, uh, since the EU labeled our products as, uh, as um, and want to boycott our products, so we are labeling with these stickers, may, uh, this product is made with love in Judea and Samaria, in the Golan, in the Galil, and all over Israel. Christian Dutch activist Ariana Kloos explains why she is so passionate about the Lev Haolam business venture. For me, like every product is a story. You know, behind every product there's a name, there's a family, there is a lifehood. Like, it's so much more, it's such a deep connection. And we really feel that all the customers who are part or our partners in Le Valon, this is what they want. They want to be connected to the people of Israel. The deep connection, like buying the products but also telling the truth. This is for me very important and I hope that many people will, will join us. Like I cannot say enough, especially now, that we have to do something. Like we cannot, we cannot bow for BDS or for the European Union. Like we have to stand up. We have Jews and non-Jews, we have religious and non-religious, but the common thing of everybody what it's that they love Israel and they support Israel and they, they decided to stand up and to uh, do something actively uh, against all the anti-Semitic winds and all the labeling and all the, other, the bad thing that uh, and, and the international pressure against Israel. Ambassador Liel, you seem to be singing a 